Okay, so here we have our Arduino Uno, and we are just about to load the Blink Sketch, which is the basic sketch that you load up to test to see whether the board is working properly or not. So this board here is an official Arduino Uno, which is made in Italy. And because the board is open source design, there are quite a number of these type of boards on the market. So this one here is a Chinese version of the Arduino Uno. And you can see that this one has the USB B input, just the same as the official Arduino Uno. We have a Freetronics uh, Uno board, which is their, um, their version is called the uh, 11. And that one is a slightly older version, has the, um, the mini USB connector. And the newer version of that board has a micro USB connection. So it doesn't really matter which USB connection you have, as long as you have the right connector to go in. So either the micro or the mini or the uh, type B connector. Um, the boards are pretty much identical, only small differences like the uh, Freetronics board have um, the LED for pin 13, just along here on the edge of the board, um, as well as the RX and TX, the uh, transmit and receive LEDs, whereas the official board has those um, LEDs in this area here. So what we'll do is we'll go and load up the uh, blink sketch so we connect the board and you can see we've got an led here to show us that the board is powered on and when we load the sketch we'll be looking in this area of the board here to see the rx and tx lights lighting up and that's an indication that the um the code has been compiled and loaded up onto the board um, you will also notice that the LED connected to pin 13 here is not flashing at the moment. So when we load the blink sketch up, we should see that that LED starts to flash. So here we have the Arduino IDE. That's the Arduino user interface, uh, which we will use to load our code application code onto the Arduino Uno. Now to um, download this uh, Arduino IDE, if you go to Google and type in Arduino IDE, then you'll be taken to the Arduino download page. So from there you can download the Arduino IDE for your particular computer operating system. And once you install the Arduino IDE onto your computer and run it, you will, you will um, be presented with a blank sketch. So we want to uh, run the Blink, the um, basic Blink sketch, just to test out our Arduino board. And you will find that sketch under the file menu and examples and then under basic sketches and blink. So we'll just have a little bit of a look at um, this code. Um, this particular one was uh, written by Scott Fitzgerald and you'll see here it is fairly simple. We just have two sections, so two function areas here we have the uh, the setup area where we declare um, the pin and the mode of that pin. So we declare pin 13 as an output. So we are going to be driving an LED. So we want to declare it as an output, not an input. 
and then we have the loop section. So in this section here, the code will run continuously. So anything that we want to run continuously, and in this case, we want the LED to blink on and off for as long as we uh, have power connected. So therefore, we put that into the loop section here. So you can see in the loop, we've got digital write, which will uh, write to pin 13 and uh, cause it to have a high output, so high voltage, so 5 volts. And then we have a delay of 1000 milliseconds, which is 1 second. And then we write to pin 13 again, uh, low. So therefore, we have 0 volts. So um, it will go from high to low with a delay of 1 second in between. So the result will be flashing on and off. Now, you see here that we have declared pin 13 as an output in here. You can do that a slightly different way where you can, outside of the, um, the function areas here, you can declare uh, your own variable here. So in this case, we've got a variable um, declared, so LED pin equals 13. Uh, and we have declared that as an integer. So this integer variable equals 13 means that pin 13 is now this LED pin. And here we have declared that the LED pin is an output. And we have it driven high and driven low here. So all we've done here is set up our own variable and use the variable name in the replace of where we had the um, the 13 over here. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, so what we want to do now, we've got our um, Arduino plugged in. And you can see down here we have Arduino Uno on COM4. So on COM4, we have the Arduino connected. If I go to Tools here and down to board, I can see that we do have an Arduino Uno connected here, and it is connected on COM port 4. So that means we're all good to go. So if I now click the upload button, then you can see the code is compiling here and we are done uploading and if we go across to our arduino uno board we should see that the led on pin 13 is now flashing and there you see the um, rx and tx led pins flash and now we have the led connected to pin 13 flashing on and off